you know, have you know, I was talking earlier about because you're a mom, okay, right, and you love your children so much, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think like, what would you have you ever seen a video of moms who just discovered that their son just died in war, and their first thought is that let's celebrate, right? I haven't what seen you, like, them, but I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, like pe moms that are just like, seem like this day, this is the best day of my life, that my son just died, right? What, imagine how, what, how strong your the ideology, how, how damaging, how toxic an ideology has to be to be able to destroy a mother's love. I mean, it doesn't destroy the still, it's the mother has still a lot, but to, to corrupt your mind in a way so much to be able for you to celebrate the death of your own child because you just think that now they're in heaven and that is the best thing that ever happened to them. Yeah. Scary, isn't it? It's crazy, you... but that's the whole thing. Like I like witnessing my friend have a baby after 10 years of trying, she finally gave birth and this really are like, teacher uh lady came to see the baby and literally looked at her and said you must not love this baby more than the prophet like right. it was like what the heck but she was like she felt good about that she was like i'm so glad she told me that because yeah. I, w wow. I was in danger of loving this baby more than the prophet it was like this so when you are really that in tune with what you have to believe man like that's what you'll do it's really crazy that's crazy that is sick mm -hmm. um yeah i wanted to i wanted to read fatima's comment but it's really hard to do a segue from what you just said to, <laughs> from something so, <laughs> to go from something so dark that you mentioned to something but that... that's the whole cult thing armin that's right. what i'm saying like i thought that way too like i was sitting right. there analyzing myself like okay. do i love the prophet more than myself and you're so scared like i think i love myself more like no like i have to like it's your you're really putting yourself in this place wait so you felt guilty for oh gosh yeah. we would yeah. sit there in a halakha and be like man like and we'd be analyzing ourselves and be like we're so bad like we're just we have to love the prophet more and then we like start studying the sira like really hardcore in, in order to force ourselves to love him so much it's, it's really yeah and it's an impossible goal and that's the point it's yeah it's that task. constant striving right and yeah. so if that's all on your mind you can't look at anything else objectively anymore by the way this is also in the bible this is this is one thing that is not uniquely as low because the bible also says jesus himself says in the bible that you have to love me more than your own family yeah right so but a, people yeah. don't follow that because they look at yeah jesus like their father kind of right it's more the father figure um well, it's interesting because nowhere in the nowhere in the, the correct me if i'm wrong but there's no hadith or quran that says that you have to love the prophet more than your children right there's the one that says love them more than yourself yeah but not That's, more than your children. Uh, right yeah. but i guess that would be implied right in, yeah, but it's interesting because more, it seems more Muslims are following the Bible than the Christians because I don't know, there's not that many Christians that are actually like, oh, I need to love Jesus more than my son, right? Even though the Bible specifically says that you need to love your, Jesus more than your own family, right? But, but the Muslims, thing is, like, it's, yeah. um, Christianity tells you, though, that you're, you're already forgiven because of Jesus. So it's not like you're constantly but striving you for the favor. Jesus. But you're not with Jesus unless you love him more than your your son or your daughter. Jesus says okay. in the Bible that you're not with me if you love your son or your daughter or your mother or your father or whatever more than me. That's so weird. We never really looked at it that the same way, or I didn't anyway. That's right. so crazy. No, but, I mean, like, Jesus is so much more loving. I and mean, Islam, like, it doesn't even say anything about God loving you. Hardly. Where is Jesus loving? Where is Jesus loving? God is love. Such... God is love. So just he saying the word love so doesn't much. make him loving. Like, but I'm saying, okay. but that's how Christianity is portrayed. Like, it's, it's right. like it's, this it's all, a... like, encompassing love for everyone. It sounds like the boyfriend that keeps beating 
his girlfriend and he says like i'm doing this because of i love you because right? i yeah i love you and they'd be like oh well he must be loving because he keeps saying i love you mm -hmm. while he's beating her right so i mean yeah the bible keeps mentioning love 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 but and it also tells you that yeah if you don't love me back i'm gonna burn you so good luck with that none of you believe uh, believes until i be dear to him than his son his father and all. wow soha Look at this, Soha goes and gets us the Hadith. Okay, but is that Bukhari and Muslim or Muslim? Is that Sahih Hadith, Soha? Is that by any chance a Sahih Hadith, Soha? So like, yeah, but thank, look at this. Soha is like just went and found the Hadith that shows that in Islam is also like this.